Hi, welcome back to the Adventure Kids. If you're new to our channel, I'm Brooklyn. And I'm Cash. And we are at Baltimore go, um, going on the USS Torsk. Summer. So, here you go. Here it is. So this is the maneuvering room. Huh? The maneuvering room. Don't try to drive the ship. Maneuvering the ship. So how does this like how they like move it? Yeah, this is how they control the submarine. How do they see where they're going? There's the light thing, I think. How do they see where they're going? I don't know. Actually, we can just look around. Maybe we'll figure that out. I don't know. Danger. Hi, boy. <laughs> Or, or this plastic. Like, this this thing. kind of explains to you what you know how they do it. So. Speed okay. Wait. Can you can you look for something they see? Wow. Well, danger. I'm sure High there's voltage. a periscope somewhere, but. Um. Oh wow! This is cool. Maybe, Maybe there might be someone like on top. Though. Look at the here's their phone. Well, I think that's what allows you to be able to move those, what they call the sticks. So. Yeah, how do they move? Oh, you just pulled them in. Did I move them? Yep. But how do you, like, this? I think they have a An electric they main control a, controller man would be stationed at each side and would position the levers as necessary to start and stop the motors and run the propellers forward or reverse. Each controlman would use would also adjust the speed of the main propulsion motor based on commands from the from the coning tower. Yeah, yeah it would be. But I I would think there's like the the spirit like the thing that warning. you the look through and then it gets wait here's a warning. <laughs> Warning, field switch open only with medium field current. Minimum field current. Is this what it is? That's just the open door. Oh, whoa. Open. 
that's why there's more controllers and stuff. There's more things that run the ship. I don't think it really, you don't know that you don't go down there. It's locked. Watch your touch. Yeah, but it, they don't want you down there. Look, look at this ladder. Look down at here. these big tools. Look at this one here. Mm -hmm. I could open it, tightened, so. not so high, but I could actually get down there because that's <laughs> it. That's the only change. Yeah. These are the diesel engines. That's what these are. Oh, wow. So these are the engines for the submarine. And here's the ladder to get up there, but that's negative to get because they don't want you up there. Look at the big tool. That has to be the, like Dad, I should have to tighten it? something. What's that? Oh, oh, okay. Probably shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> the fire extinguisher. A seat. Hmm. I'm your passenger. <laughs> but do you know what that's okay. for? That pedal. I may. Maybe it's to move it. Just to like get it going. I think. So I we got more. Like get we have more diesel engines back here. So. I think they still should going. Like get yep. Like still going. Start. Look, you can literally like run and start and stop over here. Let's see, a snorkel was. Okay, run. I'm thinking the periscope's oh, gonna no, be. Oh no, I don't want to run the ship. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, that's the start and stop for the engine. Okay. Oh, look at that lever right there. Yep. So many levers and all that. Yep, le levers, gauges. And there's something right there. Think about how hot it probably was in here with these diesel engines running. Yeah. And look, there's literally a wheel down there. Uh-huh. Yeah, it must be really hot. There's... Like that. This. Oh, this is the temperature that it's running. Mm -hmm. See? Here's, oh, this must be confusing. So, this is the forward engine room. Yeah. So, this is. And these look like the masks that they wear when they go under. It's not, but doesn't it remind you of this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's like a whole bunch of them. <laughs> oh, here's a phone. Yep. Hi, 911, it's an emergency. I'm sort of like trapped down here, so yeah. <laughs> I wonder if you could actually call things on this phone. I don't know. Would you have to like click it all the way to here? And then well, those are probably, so here's here's your thing. So that's what it tells you. So one is for the forward torpedo room, two is for the ward room, then you got the captain's state room, the office control room, uh, coning tower, radio room. So it gives you a directory there of where to put your phone. Yep, there's that, this red. I think this will make flash red. And mm. look at the, uh, all these clock things right here. That's all the my, gauges, honey. That must be confusing. For all the gauges. Wow, but that that must be confusing to me. Yep. To know everything that they are. And there's another lever right yep. there. Another thing to go on the ground. Yep, obviously there's going to be some special training to go along oh. with all this. I know, that, that scared me. <laughs> I slipped on that. So the, the bathroom up front was for the officers. They have their own bathroom. Gotcha. This is for all the crew members now. Look at this. Yep. Could you imagine having to live on here for months at a time? Yeah. Let's see if you can open. I don't know. I don't know if you open those up. So these are the cruise washrooms. Please ensure the room empty before entry. Please ensure room is empty before entering. Yeah. Can I turn this one? Let me see. Nope. Look at this. Look at this. Uh -huh. Oh wow! Are these sturdy? Probably. But these are like for the cruise. So this is, yep. There's more. Yeah. Oh, 
more information over here. The crew members. <sighs> so under every bed. So comfortable. The one that, the one that uh, shift, right? mm -hmm. Okay. Then you have the officer in charge of everybody, like the boss. Oh. But look at this. So under every mattress, this is their belongings. Oh. Like this is how they have to keep their belongings. So under here, if you would lift this up, it's all locked. Remember, everything's like locked. Up. But see, it's gonna look There's exactly. Nothing in there. There's gonna, nothing in there. But this is yeah. what it is, and this is where they have to keep all their belongings. Oh, they have a ring and I mean, cards. Well, you got to play. You yeah, keep yourself, yeah. All, keep yourself entertained. This is as far as they go. Remember, they're in here for months at a time. Can you imagine sleeping? Look at these people up here. Look at this. Mm. That's all the room they have. Yeah. And if you put your head up. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully you don't have a nightmare and all of a sudden start off. <laughs> so this is the med kit and where they kept their yeah, clothes. Yep, But, um... Wait, but so like the crew members are the ones that like drive the ship in. And there, there takes a lot of people to man one of these ships. Yeah, and the officers are the one that. Is there any staffs or anything? Nope, just gotta hop up. Watch your head. And they like tell them what to do. Yeah, you're in charge of it. It's like, it's like the boss. Like I'm the officer, like the boss. Like, see, I'm the boss of the house. Hit my head. <laughs> <laughs> this is so comfortable. Here's the kitchen area. This is their cafeteria. So, this is the crew's mess right here. This is the mess room. Look at them in there. Oh, okay. This is like a cafeteria. Yeah. Caribbean trip. 1954. Here's everything down here. Yeah. What's up? Little jukebox. Isn't that cool? What's that? Little well, jukebox. Box. Oh, I thought you were talking about that. That's radio. Okay. Oh, is that like lockers or something? Yeah, some sort of. How much jokes are there? Plates, all that stuff. How much jokes are there? Probably like a couple of shoes. Each of the four tables will seat six men, so 24 enlisted men could be seated at one time. So they would seat 20, about 24 men at one time in here. Instructions before opening. It's a garbage disposal unit. So that's where they put their, their garbage. Here, the radio room. Oh, this one's small. Oh, this one's small. Are they naked? What are they doing this is like the, like the administration work, like uh, it's, it's called the radio station. So they're decoding and doing all the transmissions and the typewriter. Yeah. So I don't get what they do. This is how they communicate, Cash, and how, they, how they like keep talk track to each other. Different ships. Mm -hmm. Yep, to different ships and bases on this. land and everything else. Look at this, Dad. Um, There's I all different levels here. Yeah. Danger. Do not work or. <laughs> work on like, or behind this, board unit without like, de-energizing -ener boards. So this is all like electrical circuits no, and everything else. So know, like, for the auxiliary power and everything. Here's another underground thing. Well, the propeller Ooh, look at this. Little, uh, oh, that's cool. Look at all this. Oh, look at all this. You have so to read all that before. Probably. You're gonna see the periscopes to see off. You know how and then they about? call. Look, yeah. There's periscope one and periscope two. So maybe we'll see them when we get off the ship. Where? And, the, and then they probably. I mean, they're up here. I'm sure yeah, they're up they here. Yeah, they probably call the people from here. Mm -hmm. This is creepy. And this might be. <laughs> so this is one of the control. What's this is the control room here. For? What's that wheel for? <laughs> he wants to know what all the wheels are for. I mean, I couldn't even imagine. If you get a water break, like, where do you start? All right. And all this stuff right here is going to tell you. So you have the stern panel control, which is what you're at right now, Cash. And then Brooklyn, you have the bow panel control. Oh, so, what does so the large mean? hand wheels were, what does it mean? were for con the large hand wheels were for controlling Taurus bow and stern driving planes. The driving planes are the wing-like apparatuses on the exterior of the boat used to control the angle and speed of the drive. Oh. There are plane angle indicators on left and right of the station as well as shallow depth indicators and a deep depth indicator. The large round black dials are the shallow depth indicators 
calibrated for a maximum depth of 165 feet. The, depth, the deep depth indicator is calibrated for a minimum depth of 600 feet. So right here, these are your, these are your calibrators right here. Okay. Those big black dials there. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah, that's fun. So what are these, what is mine for? Like what does mine do? Yeah, like what does this one do? So that one over there is the stern panel control. So it helps adjust like the depth and the angle of the of the submarine. So you, you turn this and this would probably be turning the ship that way? It could be turning the ship, yep, and help well, out the depth and everything would else. Probably be turning the ship Ooh, that way. Well, could be, yeah. I mean you could go underground for this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's all different types of compartments, guys, and different types of controls. I mean it takes a lot. So I'd be much. scared if I had to stay under here for like a week. <laughs> I think it should just be like turning the ship, steering it, and shooting I... missiles. That's what? all I think. And, and just what? like sleeping. Yeah, what if I well, do something that simple, wrong so. and I sunk the ship and then... Yeah, remember these are old. This is an old, old submarine. So I don't know what the technologies are like now for all the, the newer submarines. You know, so most of it's probably more computerized and stuff. All right. Morning. You're Oops. Out of Let's move on. Let's move on to the next room. <laughs> Just imagine how hot it was down here, guys. Oh, it's hot right here. Really hot. But when all the engines were running and everything. Oh my gosh. Ooh. It might be way more hot. It might be way more hot down here. Oh my gosh, it's hot. It's not so hot. Like this is probably how they get warm. They're really cold. Oh, they're never gonna be cold. <laughs> so these are the chiefs, where the senior enlisted men with 10 to 20 years experience within this particular skill. So this is where they slept. Where? Uh, in who? here, the chiefs. Yeah. The chiefs. Is that what like a sink? Is that Chief like an open sink? Chief petty officers. Here's the captain's stateroom. But but what? It's just their different ranks. Their ranks. No, but the more I... experienced, the higher up people. This is they got their own rooms. They didn't have to sleep in that. So this look. This is the captain's room. This is this is the officers. So it's just they had to share, but they only you know three people. Jeez, I wouldn't want to sit in the officer's room. <laughs> well, this is just like your your bedroom in a way, you know. No, but My like this is so crowded. Yep. Like if they this go. Is the ward, this the is the way it was. Was the dining? This way it still is. So then, see the officers and stuff all got to eat in here instead of. Oh, in there, that yeah. The oh, this is nice. Room. This is nice, actually. Oh, sink there, better. Oh, okay. this is actually really Ooh, nice. Another mm -hmm. one. Oh, wait, no, this is the same one. Yeah, they're in a little kitchen. Junior officer's room. Oh, there's oatmeal and crackers. <laughs> well, they probably have a lot of that stuff that can't really have fresh fruit. No, now it's getting really cool. Wait, look, it's in here. What is it? It's just, a, it's it's just like a... Yeah. It's just empty. Like a closet, maybe. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um... But what, what do the chiefs do? Like, what do they do for the boat? They'll give, like, commands and stuff like that. Uh, different types of commands. So, I mean, they all have different... I thought that's what the officers they had, do. They had different types of... Uh, I thought that's what the officers Well, they all have their own specific duties of what needs to be done. Oh, look. There's, like, headphones to, like, hear everything. So, the, yep, this is the sonar shack. So, the sonar is where they would bounce, like, different noises and different pitches to uh, kind of be able to help determine where they're at, make sure they didn't run into everything. So if it would bounce off, they would be able to detect where where it was going. Oh, gosh, I need to look up. Oh. So this is... The ship, it floats. <laughs> and everyone gives us a look at it. So this just goes in the water. Mm-hmm. Wait, but there are going to be a lot of oxygen tanks. Right, so this is the four torpedo room. So this is the other torpedo room that they have here. Oh, so, like, what, what do the officers do in the, the, your memories um, with us? The chief. History ship. That, that's See, I, I, I don't, I, no, they're not. They just have different history rankings. I'm not exactly sure what their jobs says. were. Share so. more memories with us. Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter.
here. <laughs> there you go. And heat. Low heat air conditioning. So this tells you how the Taurus got its name. Cool. So during World War II, American fleet type submarines were named after fish or other sea creatures. The name Taurus is a Norwegian translation for the cusk, a uh, food fish belonging to the cod family. Cool. Hmm. Ooh, a seat. <laughs> and a fire extinguisher. And that looks like a snake. <laughs> Those are the hoses.